If you're getting into wiring your batteries with inverters or RVs or solar generator setups, you're probably going to find much like I did that you might not have the right tools for the job, especially when it comes to wiring. Today I want to show you this hydraulic crimper set that I bought from Amazon. It was only 50 bucks. This is the AMZ CNC hydraulic crimper, this time on Ham Radio Tube. So a lot of us probably have crimpers something like this. Here's a wire stripper with uh, a crimping tool there. Here's another type of wire stripper. You've got some different size crimping tools. You can get the ratcheting crimpers. These are really great for just kind of your regular terminal type connectors. And I've even used these. These are coaxial cable crimpers that I have used to crimp uh, wires, but not really the greatest tool for the job. Even when you jump up to a terminal like this, this is a high temperature ring terminal for 12 to 10 gauge. These are ridiculously strong and I found that uh, these types of crimpers don't really work that well. But then when you start jumping up to bigger gauge wires, this is for four gauge wire, this is for one aught gauge wire, you just got to have the right tool for the job. And I decided to go online and pick up this hydraulic crimper to show you uh, one, the great crimp that it can do, but the, actually the, the quality that I got for this out for $50 from Amazon. So let's uh, crack this open and I will show you what is inside. And the whole toolkit comes in this nice hard plastic case with some uh, locks down here. So let's crack this open and see what is inside. So first we're greeted with, we've got uh, some extra washers in case uh, these go bad, you can replace them because this is hydraulic. You've got your instruction manual. Here's the actual crimper itself. It also comes with these nice wire shears. These are really sharp. These cut through wire like butter. So very nice. And then you get all of these different dies. And what I really like about this, you see where it says 70, so that's the gauge for uh, anywhere outside the US, but it also has the American wire gauge on there. So we've got anywhere from uh, 2 watt gauge wire all the way up to uh, 10 gauge wire there and everything in between. So really, really nice. Oh, we also have 12 gauge. So we get 2 watt all the way to 12 gauge wire. Now the way this works is very, very easy. So I need to crimp some 6 gauge wire. So I'm going to get out, whoops, I'm sorry, four gauge wire. So I'm going to get out the four gauge dies. You've got two of them. And the way this works, you can kind of see there's a little hole there. Release this tension. So this is the, uh, what turns on or off the hydraulic pressure. And these just snap in with a magnet. So one on the bottom one on top, and when we're ready to crimp, we're just gonna tighten this down to where it says work, and all you do is press this lever, and that's pumping up the hydraulic pressure, and you can see the crimp getting tighter, and then you, un, uh, you release it, and it goes back down. Really, really cool. Very effective uh, at crimping. So let's show you how to actually crimp a wire here. We're gonna use these wire cutters, and here's some four gauge copper wire. And I just need to basically cut a little jumper so I can insert a fuse breaker. Doesn't need to be long. We'll make it, oh, let's be anal and make it uh, six inches here. So we can just take these shears and just cut it. And look how smooth that cut was. Great. And now I can strip my wire. Then we'll go ahead and crank this knob to the clockwise position, into the work position. Give this a couple squeezes here to get this a little closer. Then we can insert our terminal. And you can just rest this on the table. Start crimping it down. Really want to wrench it down. Get it nice and tight. And we can release this. And we've got a nice, strong 
That ain't going anywhere. Crimp. Beautiful. And then we can do it to the other connector. Throw some heat shrink on here. And now we have nice quality, very, very durable. These aren't coming off. We've, we've made a good kind of cold weld in there with the, with the copper. And now we have a good solid electrical connection because we have the right tool. 50 bucks, this is, this is probably the best 50 bucks I've spent in a long time. Very, very happy with this. And when you're done, you can simply remove the dies, put them back in their home. Everything packs up, everything has a home, and it goes right back in, folds up nice and neat until you're ready to crimp again. And now I'm all wired up safely. I've got a great crimp because of that crimper. Now I've got my breaker in here and everything is good. So if you like this kind of stuff, hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching Ham Radio Tube. We'll see you next time.